Hi, it's me, Nathan, so Duto makes the videos on the show. And welcome back to the third part of the quarry. Uh, last time we left off here, I'm honestly not gonna recap, but if you didn't see the second part, go watch it. And we're gonna check out the place before we continue Aww. with the story. This was little Izzy's. Wait, that's a choice? I don't know. <sighs> I guess we'll keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Ooh, I've updated. Uh, I guess I did an important choice. So, I don't know. I'm really excited to see what my choices will accumulate in the end, like ending and stuff. I really have no clue about this game. Why would this place be in the news? Freak show goes up in flames. A scrap from the local newspapers, the North Kill Gazette. It does look recent, something about the fire was here at Hackett's Quarry. The story is definitely gonna be about like that circus thingy or magic show thing and stuff. It was about the like magic chest and the uh, beginning of the let's play and stuff. And tarot cards of course. Um, I just wanna be very careful that I don't accidentally go into the story before I've checked out everything. I especially don't want to miss like those tarot cards. I think over there is where the story continues. Then let's not go there yet. Oh, there's something. Evidence. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Oh, all of this stuff has like these little animations. I'm not gonna watch all of them, at least half chosen and interrupts, I guess. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Show text, oh, thank you. Well, that didn't age well, but that's evidence for what? That they've been together? Alright, we're gonna go up there, then we're gonna continue with the story. Because I do wanna explore, but my patience isn't the best sometimes. Especially if you're not that fast. Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Who the hell is Dylan? that out or have I unlocked the secret ending? Yeah I definitely showed that crow man. Fuck them crows.
Is that all that happens? Why was that so important? Why was that the cutscene? What? Well, oh, the corpse is in there as it seems, so nothing special. Maybe there's something here too. So this is a novelty design post, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Haggard's quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Right, and then let's go to I think that was Emma. Ready to roll? I think I did let's do it. everything. Empty handed. Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <sighs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, quick time events, I forgot. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? This is gonna be a choice, isn't it? I don't think we'll die. Yeah. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Same. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Spooky. Ooh. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. 
<laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? what? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Ugh. What does that mean? I don't know. Yes? Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. I had to try so hard sometimes. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious. Oh, and that's the, the, the music <laughs> guy. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, cool. nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Ooh. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. It's the freak show, right? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? <laughs> Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for a lost baby boy. Not the one that reads the cards, there right? There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. <laughs> or kill you, or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways, I ain't wait. Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. I don't know, let's just be nice throughout the whole Let's Play. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. He looks like Dewey. Sorry, and theme Mr. sounds H. kind of similar to Dewey. Yeah, yeah, to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. Yo, Mr. White. <laughs> What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance oh, I can get the... a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. 
Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Trade offer. I get you get earbuds. I I I get earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing w with the. Yay, my game is lagging. I hope it's not too annoying or anything. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. What? Because kids are kids. You only do so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. What a friendly man. Yeah, of course. Adios. Ryan, you should probably get f the fuck away from the door right now. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. We're cool, Oof. champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand. Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, so, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. Uh, if you only knew. Uh, <laughs> that. All right. Can I say that more weird? <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... He's up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. I really yeah. like how the just stick to the call, on this guy time, just okay? seemed like really uncanny, like really just you guys don't do suspicious. I don't know how to say, how to explain it. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Ooh. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun but what the hell what just give me a minute where in the good goddamn are they will you say goodbye to caleb and kaylee for me they sort of just snuck off well, you'll see him again next year caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and kaylee 
Well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. You dummy, you cannot drink Let's keys. Skedaddle. Man, now we just have to think about Scream, because he looks exactly like Dewey. Why well, I think I looked it up, and it is the same actor, his name is David Arquette, and he plays both Dewey in Scream and Chris Hackett in The Quarry. Make sure, sure they're all ready to go, for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Oh snap! No way! I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell on the minivan. <laughs> Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. <laughs> What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let's <clears> try. <throat> that is pronounced kaput. <clears throat> dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, let's go. dude. I think I'm. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. He's really worried about the hack, hmm? Huh? Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I thought he, he, put, he pulled out my gun, oh my god. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Not another choice. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So did I? Oh, it's that future if like the car has been that we saw from the free car. Or... Hmm. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... No. Or we could do something else. I just want to survive, okay? No, no, 
No, no, no, no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. I guess I cannot avoid it, right? Like, the story has to go on. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Wait, really? Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. I don't know. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I'm not trying to play favorites right now already, since this is pretty much the beginning. But I kind of like Ryan. What in the actual fuck? <sighs> oh, that's so totally over thing to do. Maybe I did do the right choices thing and so it's... Because it seems like hunting season for them. Yeah, exactly like I said, it's hunting season. Of course. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna end the part here though, before it gets too long. As always, have a good life. Or something.